back in 2018, World War Three launched to a decent amount of hype. Some creators were calling it the Battlefield Killer. But when it launched, while it was a pretty decent shooter, it wasn't a Battlefield Killer. It did have quite a few issues, like the gameplay wasn't just up to scratch. Some of the art design wasn't quite right, like some of the maps were just too grey. There were loads of server issues, so quite quickly the game just sort of started to die off. But then the devs took it off sale, they got partnered with MyDot Games, and they've been working on it behind the scenes, leading up to a veteran alpha test, which was in October 2021. And shortly after that, it launched into a closed beta period where people who had purchased the game originally back in like 2018 and further on from when it was actually on sale on Steam, could play the test, see how much the game had improved and give their feedback, find bugs, stuff like that. And I have been playing the game on and off since this veteran alpha test. And I can definitely say that this game has improved so much since its original release in 2018. If you didn't know, I actually started my channel on World War 3. The first four videos I made for this channel was World War 3 gameplay. So this game has always been in the back of my mind, just wondering what has been happening to it. So I'm really glad to see it is back and better than ever. The footage you are seeing now is from the closed beta test. Recently, they did a progress wipe to test the new progression system they had put in place, ready for the open beta test, which is when the game will be free to play. And this open beta test, while I don't know a definitive date, it is just around the corner because this progression test is the last test they are doing before they put a new wipe in to put everyone back to level one and then the open beta will begin. If you are interested in the game, I do have a link in the description below where you can create an account with my.games ready for the game's release. So why should you play this game over something like Battlefield? And is it really a Battlefield killer? Well, I would say it's definitely a Battlefield 2042 killer, but this game over 2042, what I would definitely say is that the gunplay in World War 3 is so much better than Battlefield 2042. I would actually say it's better than every single Battlefield game because every Battlefield game, apart from Battlefield 5, has used a bloom system, which is pretty much your bullets will just randomly go out in different directions from when you're shooting. World War 3 uses what I would call a actual recoil system, where as you're firing your weapon when you're aiming down the sights, it will actually go where you're aiming at the time the weapon fires. But, you know, this doesn't take into account bullet drop, so you will need to adjust the bullet drop at range. But what this means is that if you get really good with a certain weapon, you will be able to pretty much laser down people because you'll be able to fully control the recoil, unlike something like in Battlefield, where your bullets will just bloom all over the place, no matter how good you are at controlling that small vertical recoil that would be in Battlefield. So if you want to master gunplay that is actually really rewarding, responsive, tight, and just feels really damn good, World War 3 is the first person shooter for you. And as I mentioned earlier, it will be free to play. You can buy into the closed beta now using my link in the description, but open beta is just around the corner, so you can just wait. On top of the gunplay, I think World War 3 probably has the, what I'll say, the second best gun customization out of any first person shooter I've ever played. I'll say Tarkov is the best. I think the amount of detail that's gone into the Tarkov gun customization will probably never be surpassed. But in World War 3, there's a lot of different attachments you can change on the weapon. There's tons of choice when it comes to scopes and other parts of the weapon. And you can change the cosmetic side of the weapon as well, such as the handguard, stop, and the pistol grip. And then you can individually assign skins to each of those weapon parts if you want, or just a full skin to the entire gun. So you can take an assault rifle and really change how the weapon looks to make it feel more like an SMG, or change like the barrel and some other attachments to make it feel more like an automatic sort of marksman rifle. There's a lot you can do in World War III. One negative that some people may say about the game is the player count. Now in the tactical ops mode, which is pretty much conquest, it is only 20v20, which going up against Battlefield 2042, which has 64v64, that is quite a bit of a step down in player count, but the maps have been designed for 40 players in mind, so you are never far away from an engagement. And like other shooters that get released today, 
you have multiple spawn options. You can spawn on any squad member, a control point that's not being attacked, and you do get a spawn vehicle, which is pretty much an APC, which you can spawn on as well. So when you do Aww. die, you can quickly get back into the fight. And to touch back on customization, you can customize your character as well. You can change the face, face paint, headwear, topwear, bottomwear, and again, you can assign skins to each of these individual parts, and you can change some other cosmetic size as well, such as like patches on your character, a little sentence patch, your voice line, and more. So when the game first releases, you probably will see quite a few people that look the same because everyone's sort of starting on level one. But as the game progresses, I kind of doubt you will see a lot of people that look the same going forward because there will be a lot of cosmetics available. And there will be cosmetics available in like a microtransaction store. But at the time of recording this, I haven't seen the microtransaction store. I have no idea what the price is going to be like or what cosmetics are available. I can tell you now that in game, all the cosmetics are military themed. Like you can get a different jacket from the American forces or the UK forces, the Polish forces. It's all themed correctly. So at least right now, there isn't anything that is like a Santa costume like 2042 was going to put in. This customization also extends to the vehicles in the game. Not only can you change the skins, but you can change the armor, the main gun on the vehicle, the top mounted machine gun. You can change it to like grenade launchers and other things. On some vehicles, you can attach like utility things like being able to drop an ammo crate. So there is a huge amount of customization in this game. The game sort of borrows the Call of Duty killstreak system, but in this one, it's more of a, but in this game, they're called strikes. And to use your strikes, you need to get points. And the best way to get the points is to play the objective. And these strikes range from UAVs, jammers, APCs, <laughs> land drones, little suicide air drones, tanks, artillery, carpet bombing, and guided missile strikes. And some of these strikes, again, can be customized with skins and other attachments. So if you are looking for a more casual shooter that you can just jump into for like 20, 30 minutes and have a good round, instead of playing something like Hell Let Loose, where you're going to spend about an hour and a half playing one game, World War 3 might be the game for you. It's not full casual. The time to kill is pretty low. If you're using an assault rifle, you can generally kill people in three to four shots. And since the gunplay is so tight and rewarding, I think this could be the game for you. As I said earlier, it's open beta. It's got to be just around the corner. So if you are interested, really, I would say to wait for the open beta or you can purchase closed beta access using my link down below. I will be playing this game more when it releases into open beta. I'll be making gameplay videos, tips, guides and streaming it while squadding up with people in the stream chat. So if you're interested in this game and content for it, please subscribe to the channel because it will be coming. Big shout out to all my members that help to support this channel. Your help is really appreciated. To give this video a like, subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.